Today's adventure starts at Mrs. Witch's house. The Witch Competition. Thank you for helping tidy my house, Nanny Plum. No problem, Mrs. Witch. My goodness, what a lot of cobwebs. Let's magic them away. Oh, me. I don't know what I'd do without you, Nanny. But, Mrs. Witch, why can't you just use your own magic to tidy your house? The thing is, I don't do much magic these days. I'm retired. Meow. Still got your mangy old cat, I see. Don't be rude about Moggy. I say cat, but it's just a bag of fleas, really. Leave him alone. I'm warning you. And he's smelly. <laughs> <gasps> Mrs. Witch, you've turned Nanny to stone. So you can do magic. Only if I'm cross. Nanny was being very rude about my cat. Can you turn Nanny back? If she says sorry. Sorry. And say mm. sorry to Moggy. Sorry, Moggy. <laughs> Oof. I forgot she's so touchy about her cat. Hello, are you Mrs. Witch? That's me. I'm Wendy Witch. Hello, Wendy Witch. I'm so excited to be standing here with you. You're famous. Am I? I was brought up on stories of you doing the fastest spells in the West. That was all a long time ago. I'm retired now. And what a lovely witchy house. I can't believe I'll be living here. Uh, what was that? I'll be living in your house. But there's only room in this house for one witch. Yes. Now you're retired, you'll be going to the old witch's home. You'll be very happy there. It's full of other old witches watching telly all day. Uh, you know, when I said I was retired, I meant I'm not retired. Goodbye. <laughs> that was close. Um, sorry to bother you again, but since there's only room for one witch around here, we'll have a witch competition. The winner stays, the loser goes. Oh, yes, of course. A witch competition needs a judge. Someone important. Uh, my daddy is a king. Is that important enough? A king will do nicely. Let's go and meet this daddy of yours. Hello, Your Majesty. Ah! I'm Wendy Witch. Oh, hello, Wendy Witch. We're having a witch competition and we need someone important and wise to be the judge. That'll be me. I'm very important and wise. If Mrs Witch loses, she'll have to leave her house. Daddy, you have to make sure Mrs Witch wins. I'm sorry, Holly, but I'm the judge and I have to be fair and above board. I suppose there's a first time for everything. When does the competition start? At high noon. I haven't got a chance against Wendy Witch. I haven't been in a witch competition for years. What happens in a witch competition? There's a spell contest, broomstick riding and jam making. Well, your jam smells quite nice. See, I've lost my touch. Which jam is supposed to be horrible? Don't worry, we'll help you make it horrible. <laughs> what if you put in some snail slime? Snail slime? Yes, that could do it. And some worm poo? Yes, that would make it taste awful. You see, you can win. Now let's tackle the broomstick riding. I haven't ridden my broom in years. It's forgotten all its training. <laughs> here, boy. Good broom. Oh, come here, you silly old stick. <laughs> oh, dear. Let's try spells. Mrs Witch, you did the fastest spells in the West. Right, Mrs Witch. Turn these cans into frogs. <laughs> I'm trying. But I can't do it. I'm afraid she's past it. Past it? She can't even turn a can into a frog. She might have been good at magic once, but now she's a bit of a has-been. Has-been? I'll show you. <gasps> Mrs Witch, you turned Nanny into a frog. That's because 
Nana's nanny got me annoyed. <laughs> Oof! If you can do magic like that in the competition, you'll be fine. So just remember to get cross with Wendy Witch. But she's so friendly and nice. It's your only chance to win. OK, I'll try to be cross. It's high noon. Let the witch competition begin. First, jam making. Why are they all staring at me? You're the judge, darling. They're waiting for you to taste the witch's jam. Oh, what's in it? Slug, mostly, with a hint of bat and spider eggs for crunch. Ew! That's the most disgusting thing I've ever ever tasted. Thank you. No, my jam, Your Majesty. Yes. Um, why should I have all the fun? Isn't it someone else's go? Daddy, you're the judge, so you must taste both jams. Of course I must. Lucky me. Oh, they both taste equally revolting. So, the jam making is a draw. Hooray! And now, Broomstick flying! Yeehaw! That was really good! Ooh. Now it's Mrs. Witch's turn! <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Right! She's held on! Yeehaw! She's riding the broom brilliantly! Declare the broomstick riding a draw. Now for the spell contest. Mrs. Witch, where are you going? To the old witch's home. I can't win a spell contest. Yes, you can. You turned Nanny to stone. And you turned her into a frog. Well, Nanny Plum makes me so cross. Just remember to be cross with Wendy Witch. But she's so polite and charming. She wants to put you in the old witch's home. And live in your house. You're right. Remember I'm cross. Remember I'm cross. Let the, Let spells, the spells begin. begin. The, witch the witch that turns, that turns, the, that turns the, other the other to stone, stone is the is winner. The winner. <laughs> remember I'm cross. Remember, I'm cross. Mrs. Witch, it's been such a thrill to be in a competition with you. Remember, I'm... Oh, thank you, dear. You're so nice. <gasps> She's turned Mrs. Witch to stone. That's it. I've won. I'll be the Little Kingdom's witch. I'll really enjoy working with you, King Thistle. Uh, working with me? Oh, yes. I've got big plans for the Little Kingdom. Oh, dear. She sounds like a bit of a bossy boots. Meow. And Mrs Witch's mangy old cat will have to go. Did you see Mrs Witch move? She can't move. She's been turned to stone. He really is a flea-bitten old thing. He smells awful. I'm really cross. You leave my moggy alone. Wow, Mrs. Witch turned the other witch to stone. So, I suppose Mrs. Witch is the winner. Yay! We knew you could do it. Uh, shouldn't you turn Wendy Witch back now? She was very rude about my Moggy. But if she says sorry... Sorry. And sorry to Moggy. Sorry, Moggy. <sighs> Thanks. You're just amazing, Mrs Witch. I've never seen anyone break out of a stone spell before. And you're a very polite and clever young witch, mostly. Well, as they say, this town ain't big enough for the both of us. So I'll be moving along. Bye! I'm glad Mrs Witch won. The Little Kingdom wouldn't be the same without Mrs Witch. Yes. Mind you, Wendy Witch did have a point about the cat. It does rather smell and it's... What was that? It, uh, is a most lovely pussycat. Thank you, King Thistle. I do love my Moggy. Meow. Cherry cakes. 
Who wants fairy cakes? Oh, yes, please. Wise old elf. Hmm, don't mind if I do. Ah, my ears are wiggling. That means there's magic about. Well, I did make the cakes with magic. Why can't you make cakes the normal way? By baking them in the oven. I don't have time for baking in ovens. I have lots of work to do. Ha! Ah, what work? I do more work than you. No, you don't. I do more work than you. I could do what you do, no problem. I could do what you do easily. Why don't you swap jobs? Then you'd know who does the most work. Good idea. Ho, ho, ho. Very funny, Your Majesty. I'm not joking. As your king, I command you to swap jobs for one day. The wise old elf can be Nanny. And Nanny can be the wise old elf. But... But... No buts. It's a royal command. All right, then. You'd better have my hat. And you'd better have my apron. Now, I'd better warn the elves what they're in for. Calling all elves. Just for today, somebody else is going to be the wise old elf. Who is it? Me! <gasps> Danny Plum! Don't worry. She won't do any magic. She has to do everything the elf way. I'm the wise old elf. Ahem. <clears throat> Magic always leads to trouble. Well, I have to go. I'm being Nanny Plum for the day. Goodbye. Oh, I should have taken Nanny's wand away. Don't worry. Nanny said she wouldn't do any magic. Hmm, I'll know if she does. My ears will wiggle. So, what does the wise old elf do all day? He has a list of jobs. He starts with the toy factory. Hello, everyone. I'm the wise old elf. Don't worry. It's just for today. Oh, I see. Um, well, wise old elf, the glute machine is broken. Can you fix it? No problemo. Time for a bit of magic. My ears are wiggling. Nanny is doing magic. Hello? No magic. All right. Keep your hair on. Nanny, you're the wise old elf today, remember? Oh, yes. How would he fix the gloop machine? He'd probably just kick it. OK. The packaging machine isn't working. Do you want me to kick it? Yes, please, wise old elf. The paint machine needs fixing. Oh, my foot's beginning to ache. Wise old elf. I'm Nanny Plum today, Your Majesty. Do you have Nanny's list of jobs? List of jobs? I don't think she has one. Nanny isn't one for lists. Why not start by washing my socks? All right, let's go down to the washing room. Oh, these stairs are going up. But a moment ago, they went down. Yes, it's magic. The stairs change all the time. The rooms get bored, so they move around. The toilet was on the roof once. Yes, that was fun. But how do I get down to the kitchen? You ask the stairs to go down. Stairs go down. You have to say the magic word. What magic word? Abracadabra? No, please. Oh, please go down. Thank you. Right, let's get these dirty clothes into the washing machine. How do I turn it on? It's a magic washing machine. You have to talk to it. OK. Washing machine, wash the clothes. Say the magic word. Oh, please. No, abracadabra. Oh, abracadabra. Goodness, this is harder than I thought it would be. Right, then. What does the wise old elf do now? Next on the list, the elf school. Good morning, children. Where's the wise old elf? Today, I'm the wise old elf. Ahem. <clears throat> Magic always leads to trouble. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's today's lesson? We've been building a robot. You can ask him anything. 
OK, where am I? You are on the moon. That's not right, is it? Uh, maybe ask Laura. OK. <clears throat> where am I? You are at the bottom of the sea. Hmm. How would the wise old elf mend it? He'd probably disassemble the bias kernel, Boolean geek logic, Higgs, Boson, Quark, and then rewire them. Even if I had the foggiest idea what you were talking about, can you see me doing that? No. OK, magic time! <laughs> dee dee da, dum dee. Ah! My ears are wiggling. Now, where am I? You are. Uh... Here. You can't get more accurate than that. <laughs> Hello? Nanny? I know. Your ears are wiggling. Which means you are doing magic. Stop it. Stop it now. I do not like magic. Now, Holly, what is my next job? Um, magic school. Oh. Good morning, children. I am Nanny Plum for today. Good morning, Nanny Plum. Today's magic lesson is magic always leads to trouble. So, don't do magic. The end. Is that it? Yes. Now, I think I'll have a little nap. So, this is Nanny Plum's bedroom. It's all flowers, bunnies and cushions. Lovely, isn't it? At least I can have a little sleep. Ah! It's so soft! It's not a bed, it's a giant pudding. What's next? The wise old elf has a little nap. So, this is the wise old elf's bedroom. How could a room be more boring? Ow! That's not a bed, it's a plank of wood. Wise old elf, please report to Elf Rescue. Oof. What now? You have to sit here and wait for the red phone to ring. If the red phone rings, you launch Elf Rescue and save people from deadly peril. Are the biscuits? Yes. Oh, goody. Oh, how could a bed be so soft? Oh, what is it now? Nanny, I want a snack. Nanny! OK, Your Majesty. Aha, jelly. Your snack, King Thistle. Lovely. What is it? Jelly. <laughs> oh, that's magic jelly. We don't want a jelly flood. Ho, oh, oh, there's not going to be a jelly flood. But all it takes is someone to shout, Magic jelly, more, more, more. Who would be foolish enough to shout magic jelly, more, more, more? Whoops! Jelly flood! Can somebody answer the phone? I'm busy eating biscuits. Nanny, you're in charge. Oh, all right. Hello, Elf Rescue here. It had better be something important. Um, uh, I seem to have made a jelly flood. Can you rescue us, please? Okie dokie. Elf Rescue a go. Launch everything. Elf Rocket A-OK. -okay. Elf Plane A-OK. -okay. Elf Helicopter A-OK. -okay. Thank goodness you're here, Elf Rescue. A jelly flood isn't a job for Elf Rescue. It's a job for Nanny Plum. Magic time! Thank you, Nanny. Being you for a day wasn't easy. And it wasn't easy being you either. Ah, I'm Nanny Plum again. And I'm the wise old elf. Good. Everything is back to normal. Hooray! Can I celebrate by turning you into a frog? Don't even think about turning me into a frog. <laughs> it's fun playing cards with you.
you, Ben and Holly. Yes, we love coming to your house. It's my birthday soon and you can come to my party. That sounds brilliant. You could have a fairy party. Or an elf party. Yes, an elf and fairy party. And all my friends can come dressed up. I could do some party magic. Ooh, yes, please. Lucy, lunchtime. Better hide. Dad can be a bit funny about you two. Mum, Dad, I've decided to have an elf and fairy party for my birthday. That's nice, Lucy. And I've invited Ben Elf and Fairy Princess Holly. Now, Lucy, we've been through this. Elves and fairies aren't really real. Hello, Lucy's dad. <laughs> Hello there. We are real. Uh, but, but we can't have real elves and fairies at Lucy's birthday party. Why not, Dad? There'll be lots of other children, and they're not used to seeing real elves and fairies. We understand. Yes. See you later, Lucy. Bye. Bye. Holly was going to do some magic at my party. Well, I can do some magic tricks. Watch, here's a coin. Now it's gone. Oh, what's this behind your ear? Oh, will you do a magic show at my party? Of course I will. Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. Hi, everyone. Lucy's having an elf and fairy party. Great! I've always wanted to go to a big kid's party. Me too. What shall we wear? What we always wear. After all, we are elves and fairies. <laughs> That's the thing. Real elves and fairies aren't invited. It's just a lot of big children dressed up as elves and fairies. Oh! oh. Oh, Lucy, what's the matter? Oh, Mum, I really wanted Ben and Holly to come to my party. Well, I think they can. Just keep them out of sight and away from your dad. Great! Thanks, Mum. I'll go and tell them. As long as it's only Ben and Holly. Ben! Holly! Mum says you can come to the party after all. Hooray! Hooray. Thanks, Thanks, Lucy. Lucy. We can do magic. And play party. Games. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, it was only supposed to be Ben and Holly. So, you don't want us to come? Of course I do. You can all come. I'm sure it will be fine. Hooray! As long as you promise to stay out of sight and away from my dad. We promise. Let's put your wings on. <laughs> now you look like a real fairy princess. Lucy, all your friends are here. Oh, goody. Happy birthday, Lucy. <laughs> I like your fairy wings. I like your elf ears. I made them myself. <laughs> Here's a balloon each. Hold tight or they'll fly away. <laughs> Have fun. I'll be back to pick you up after the party. <laughs> I think the coast is clear. Have fun. I'll be back to pick you up after the party. Hello! My goodness, you've all come. Um, welcome. Here's a balloon. Hold on tight or it'll fly away. Whoa! Quick, grab him! Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> Look at all the lovely party food. Ooh! There's the birthday cake. <laughs> Gaston's going to eat the cake. No, Gaston. Bad ladybird. <coughs> That's for later. Come on, everyone. Party time. <laughs> Let's get started with a bit of a boogie. Yeah, 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 I yeah, wish yeah, we yeah, could dance with the yeah, big yeah, children. Yeah, we yeah, promised yeah, to keep yeah, out of yeah, sight. Yeah, I can't yeah, help it. Yeah, I have to yeah, boogie. Yeah, yeah. No, Barnaby. Come back. Boogie, boogie, boogie. They're going to see him. Musical statues. When the music yeah, stops, yeah, everyone yeah, freeze. Yeah, 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 yeah. Katie, you moved. I nearly stepped on this toy. Look. Oh, I'll just pop the toy over here with the rest of the toys. 
What are you doing, Barnaby? Sorry, Lucy's mum. Barnaby, we're supposed to stay here. But I love to boogie. Now, Lucy's dad is going to do some magic tricks. Hooray! Oh, goody. I love magic. It won't be real magic, just magic tricks. What are magic tricks? You'll see. Hello and welcome to the magic show. Ooh! You see? That's a magic trick. It's a trick wand. That was really good. My dad's been practising. And now I will make a rabbit come out of my hat. Hey, presto. <laughs> it's Flopsy, my pet rabbit. <laughs> Dad must have borrowed him. Do it again. Yes, yes do, do it, it again. again. Uh, I can't. Lucy only has one rabbit. Oh, maybe he needs a bit of help. No, Strawberry. Rabbit, rabbit, rabbit. Oh, another rabbit. Ooh. Rabbity, rabbity, rabbity. And another rabbit. And um, another. And another. And another. Tweety birds. And Tweety birds. Oh, my birds. Where did they come from? Out of your hat. Stop it, Strawberry. But he hasn't done magic jelly yet. It's not a party about magic jelly. Ah, good. There's no more animals in the hat. Magic jelly. Ah, jelly! It's a jelly blood. <laughs> jelly blood. <laughs> Sounds like the children are having fun. Jelly party blood. food. We've got sandwiches, cake and jelly. Oh. I see you already have some jelly. Yes, it just sort of appeared magically. <laughs> Where's Gaston? Oh no, the birthday cake. <laughs> there he is. Naughty Gaston, come here. <laughs> He's stuck in the icing. Don't worry, Gaston, we'll rescue you. Oh, no. I'm stuck! Ah, I'm stuck as well. I'm stuck too! <gasps> Time for the cake! Keep still! Pretend to be toys! Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Lucy! Lucy. <laughs> now, Lucy, blow out the candles. It might get a bit spitty when she blows the candles out. Don't tell her to blow them all out in one go. Remember to blow them all out in one go. <gasps> <sighs> Don't forget to make a wish. I want a pink unicorn. Strawberry? No. Pink unicorn. Ah! Wow, a pink unicorn. <laughs> My wish came true. That's amazing. Uh, right, everyone. Home time. <laughs> Don't forget your party bags. Hello, Yasmin. Did you have a nice time? Yes. Lucy's dad did magic. He's awesome. What are you looking like that for? All right. Out you come. All of you. I thought I made it clear there were to be no real elves and fairies at the party. But as soon as my back is turned, you invite every elf and fairy in the world. <gasps> Where's Jake? He's missing. He must have fallen into a party bag. <sighs> All right, don't panic. Just wait here. Ooh, what's this? Yum! I love cake! Oh, I think Lucy lost one of her toys. Ah, there it is. Thanks, Lucy's dad. Your magic show was great. Yes, everyone said so. Oh, did they? This was my best party ever. I'm glad you had fun, Lucy. And no one really saw your... your little friends. So I suppose everything turned out all right. <laughs> Back to normal, eh? Yes, except for the unicorn. Oh, yes, the, the unicorn. I forgot about that. Don't worry, Dad. We can just keep it in the barn with the cows. <laughs> <laughs> 